Chakshun Militam Jenetas Mai Sri Gurave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manubistam Stapitam Jenabhutali Svayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Svapadantikam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Atveta Gadada Sri Vasari Bhaurava Karuna so, my dear friends, once again in Göteborg, once again in Imaihusa, once again praying to Srila Prabhupada, just as we were driving here. Just as we were driving here, we met Smita Krishna Maharaj on the street. You met him? Really? <laughs> <laughs> so... Yesterday or today? Today. He was taking a lot of Our old god brother, who we spent many years together with. Mm -hmm. So, a new summer is beginning, or you call this spring. <laughs> is this spring still? Yeah. When summer begins, summer is special. It's June, June. July? June. In June, in one month. So, very wonderful to be here in the spring day of Göteborg. My spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, he requested all of us to take the utility, the utility, the maximum utility of this human form of life through the way of speaking. Speaking means not to speak your mental uh, speculation, but to speak what has been heard from the authorities and which will satisfy the need of everybody. So, he gave us the Bhagavad Gita. You know what can I, what can I say? If Krishna has said it already himself, what? Well, now, for those who speak German, we just published a new Bhagavad Gita in German in, 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 in poetry. Very nice. You can sing it in language, German language, but in the same meter as the Sanskrit verses. Haladar Prabhu did a major, major work in this, so this book is available if you use But it's only interesting for you if your German is quite well for appreciating poetry in another language, you have to know the language well. But whether poetry or not poetry, important is, and we have gotten such a treasure, such an incredible gift, and it is our duty to read it and to repeat it. Because it is a formula, this is a treasure map. You know, we always hear about, oh, he found the treasure map. Then he followed the treasure map, and then he found the treasure. And then, who knows what. Anyway, the treasure map of Srila Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita is leading us first steps, understanding the divine nature. Second step, understanding the divine energy. Third step, understanding the divine inner guide, the Paramatma. And fourth step, understanding that we are eternal residents of the spiritual world. We are not eternal residents of Göteborg. Also not of Lisebert. We are not eternal here. Just visiting. Soon we have to go somewhere else. So now we are visiting here. So what are we doing here? Why are we visiting here? 
well sharing the best we have sharing the greatest treasure we have sharing the treasure map because don't forget each and everyone has to go and get that treasure himself we can give you the treasure map but you have to go along the road you can't wait that you sit at home in front of a TV and they will bring it to, uh, send it to you by DHL or something you know and you can just <coughs> hang around there doing nothing no, the treasure map to finding that great treasure that is to be found by each and every one of us himself. That's our human form of life, to find that treasure and to live that treasure. And you know something far out? While you do that, you're actually becoming part of that treasure. It's not so much something you will have to dig in the ground and you, you find an old box full of coins or something. <laughs> no, 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 not such a silly thing, you know. The treasure is inside of your heart and you can actually find it. And the more you find of it, the more you, you explore each aspect of it, you beautify. You're just like a, a, a blooming flower which blooms and, and then shares the scent and shares everything. And after the flower comes, the fruit. So then you can become flowers of love and fruits of love. And the fruits of love are of that style. Now there's a mystical part, which some people they cannot see. If you start distributing the fruits of love, the tree will bear more and more and more fruits. Not that you say, oh, let me, let me stop it, not so quick distribution because I'll be without fruit myself. When you grow inside and when you find the treasure inside, you will find that there's plenty and plenty and plenty of resource. Sometimes in this world and you get another young body again. So you can go through that cycle as often as you want, you know. But if you understand that I'm not this body, that I'm eternal servant of the Lord, and you agree, you say, yes, I agree. I'll become a servant of God, a humble servant. I will do what he wants me to do. When and where, I don't know. Krishna, what you want me to do, I will do. And then your life is every day meaningful doesn't matter what your age is. As a matter of fact, in the material world, people are scared to becoming old. Because they think the older I get, the lesser people will be interested in me. But in Krishna consciousness, it's exactly the opposite. The older you become, the more interest people have in you. <laughs> of course, if you do service, no? Not if you're just a nagging old guy, going gang, 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 gang with everybody, no? Oh, you gotta be sweet chanting, teaching, have to do something, well, come sit with us. Huh? So in this way, in this way, to when the people get older, and I mean, officially elder people should be respected, no? Just because they're elder, but in Krishna consciousness, even much more. If a person is elder, that means he has so much experience, he can tell you so much. Can you imagine? You meet somebody, match you the problem. How much can he tell you, no? How wonderful things, which you couldn't see yourself. Of course, today in our Krishna conscious movement, we are very, 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 very lucky. We are probably the luckiest of all yogis in the history of the world. You know why? Because my spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, more than 900 classes of his have been recorded and can be listened to by you. More than 24 DVDs of film material of him is available. And he left books written by his own pen, you know, which were like over and over direct for the instructions for the current day and age, how to behave, how to survive, how to do everything. So this is, this is something which no words can explain. Really no words can explain. It's just a very amazing gift. 
so we want to share this and this is exactly what keeps us busy how to share it I don't know sometimes we feel we need more money no? everybody in this world thinking money 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 how to pay the bills how to pay the bills myself in our mission in I tell you in South America we need so much money but we never have time to collect it because we're doing so many things in so many ways and some other Krishna sends us everything we need it's true it's my personal experience I can testify for it so therefore I think why why give up preaching for other things maybe you have a lot maybe you have little water heck huh? but you'll always have enough to live and to share and one of the most important things to share is time when you share your time with others then they feel like they're becoming part of your family <coughs> if you have no time for others then there's also not much family so missions what we have to do oh, there's so many if you come here a few times we tell you much more I don't know anybody here today first time no your old visitors of Krishna conscious are okay then I will tell you a little more that Srila Prabhupada he is uh, introducing us into Krishna's eternal family already you're eternal that's not a big deal then you are eternally belonging to the absolute that is a big deal then you have a right to represent the absolute here while you're still here in this world making your life very very meaningful then you will develop the emotions towards the absolute this is very very important the, the development of emotions that you have to become somewhat emotional what is this? How is, how is this? How do I deal with this? What, what can I do with, with my Lord and all my brothers and sisters? How to relate to them? Can you imagine? Can you, can you have any idea for that? It's just a, the greatest gift we have gotten in this world that we are a member of a, the eternal servant, the, uh, the eternal family of the Lord. And what, what is our position in that family? Well, when you are in a family, you don't really care for your position, do you? Mother has the mother family position. Father has the father position. Brothers and sisters, they have that position. So in a family, you're not so concerned with your position. You're just concerned with being a nice part of the family, pleasing the other members of the family. So when you're part of the Krishna, that's why Krishna consciousness is not an institutional operation okay we have a temple president we have a treasurer and we have a few little gimmicks like that but that's not important important is that you're an eternal member of this family and we want to see your creativity we want to see your capacity we want to see your compassion we want to see your love we want to see how you want to make this world a better place that's Krishna consciousness not that a few old old guys make all the decisions and the rest just follow them frustra frustrated no, it's not the Krishna conscious. Krishna conscious for everybody, for everybody a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. You know, I became a leader of, of, of big projects when I was 20 years old. Totally unqualified. Absolutely, but Prabhupada had to use whatever he got and that's what he got at that time. And so he, he, uh, he sent me to Sweden to look after Sweden. Can you imagine that? Hmm? With 20 years, he sent me to Stockholm. So look what you can do there. That was a little problem in th those days. Uh, no major problems, but still there was some uh, little misunderstanding between the, the elder devotees. So he thought I could do something, so he sent me. And I think after I did my job, I said, I'm ready, can you give it back? <laughs> so... <coughs> Everything you may am have ambitions for, Krishna can give it to you. Maybe it take 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. 
that who knows who knows what Krishna's next next step next wish so therefore I come here with to go to Park for many years and I must say the community is gradually maturing I wouldn't say very fast but it's maturing because we mature by age we mature by responsibility we mature by numbers of family members we mature by passing over conflicts and decision making decisions and now first time in the history we are going to celebrate the Mela in Madhu Mangal's place well I was very surprised I never even thought of that Madhu Mangal would invite us to his place to, to have a, f- a festival there I'm very attached to Imli Tala especially to Radha Kunda that is, this is a place where my heart is but here Madhu Mangal says now we invite you in this place so, I don't know Mahari, have you been to Madhu Mangal's place? Yeah, I was there the other day. Yeah, yeah? <coughs> you like it? Yeah, it's a nice house. Yeah. And the surrounding? Uh, <coughs> yeah, it's just a house, but the surrounding is uh, nice also. It's Forests? Forests mm-hmm. and feed. Yeah, it's very, I like it. It's very kind of hilly and good forest. And hilly kind of. Lake? Yeah, yeah, there's many lakes, I think, yeah. Sweden is the lake country. We were in the waterfall. Or this yeah, we, we went to this Kiko tree in there, but it's just two and it's just one. <laughs> Actually, it's just one. Very beautiful waterfall. Small, but it's And, uh, yes, he... Sanctuaries. Krishna's sanctuaries. How's your guru there? He's good. Publishing a new book. Huh? Publishing a new book. Oh, very nice. What, what's the name? Uh, Sacred Purport. Sacred? Purport. Sacred Purport. I think. Thank you, guys. So, because uh, so many subjects exist, I would rather receive your questions to answer what's at your heart, what's your, on your mind, what you have seen, what you have not seen, what you would know more about. Just one thing before I finished is on the 12th, 12th, 2015, the United Nations of the Spirit have been come alive, revealed in Varsana, Colombia, have come alive by the grace of all the native chiefs. Oh, here, here we have some explanation papers of that as well can pass on for reading there's also an email where you can read a lot about and see some videos of the foundation the native chiefs the grandfathers and grandmothers of the American North American Central American and South American tribes came together to give some advice actually not for giving advice they came together to pray but as an outcome of their four-day prayer came a recommendation and a request to our bro- to their brothers and sisters in the world that we should rather work together. Otherwise, we'll all be guilty of compl- complicity of the world of destruction. And therefore, they created, or let's say we created, because I was also there, the United Nations of the Spirit. But the language and everything, the initiative comes from them.